the rolling hills of southern England, idyllic, peaceful, tranquil. But it is here where a key figure of African F1 history now resides. South Africa's Jody Schechter won the 1979 F1 championship. He's managed to collect many of the cars he's raced in. For a time, he was the fastest person on four wheels, and in some cases, even six. Now, what do you really think about this, this six-wheeler car? Well, I didn't like the theory. I didn't like the car. <laughs> it used to break. But people, I mean, it's because it's so special. People, people love it, and I've just, I've just bought it now, actually. Quite a journey, then, for a boy from the small South African coastal city of East London. The first year we left Monza equally leading the World Championship. At that stage, I felt I could win the World Championship. But it took me another, what, seven or seven years to actually do it. So it was more relief than, than anything else. Jody surprisingly retired from F1 halfway through the following season. He says the obvious dangers of the sport just caught up with him. No, listen, you know, one to two drivers were killed every year. I had done what I wanted to do. I think the real magic had come out, had gone for me. You know, I saw a lot of people getting killed and I saw a lot of people that didn't really care about the driver's safety that much. And so I thought, no, it's, it's uh, I didn't have anything else to do, but I, I, I felt that it, I needed to get out. I, I didn't want to do it just for the money. After retirement, Jody set up and then sold a company that built firearm training simulators for the military and the police. The funds from that bought this organic farm just southwest of London, holding, amongst other animals, more than 2,000 heads of buffalo. He sunk millions into this farm and he's still supporting it, but he's determined that it will become self sufficient. It's been a massive challenge, a really a massive challenge, making it work. It was fun researching around the world to see how you can do the best mozzarella, the best ice cream. That was all the fun. Making it work financially has been very, very tough, and that's, that's what we're working on now. Uh, and now we're starting to do uh, work with the sports, elite sportsmen. We, we're learning and where we go and how we go, because things that you thought were good for you, aren't good for you. And supplements are not the, th they used to be the thing, but now they just want good food. Well, this is clearly a world far removed from the fast pace of F1. And although Jody's interests and passions have since moved on, he still follows the sport closely. And when he was given the chance to drive a new F1 car, the old racing spirit returned. Uh, I drove first the Red Bull and then uh, the Mercedes. And it was very, I didn't think I'd enjoy it because I thought, oh, after three laps I'll get tired and my neck will get, I loved it. Schechter may have swapped the fast lane for a less dangerous lifestyle, but he's showing few signs of slowing up. Dan Williams, CCTV in Overton, England.